Hey friends, today's topic is the special ammo experiment, specifically the one that went on in trials where it possibly gave way too much ammo. I'm pretty sure no one's gonna disagree with that. That was a lot of special ammo, like a lot, a lot of special ammo. So much so that the play to win meta was to equip Forerunner in a fusion rifle, which is funny because that was the loadout I was using for PvE all weekend. The background footage isn't too important, but here's what I was using. So what I'm cooking with this is since I'm using Gear Falcon, and this is a fusion rifle, by charging it, it breaks my invis, which activates volatile rounds, which the kill activates wall hacks. Then I get Discord. I don't have a snapshot here. Focus Fury isn't going to come up unless they revive. Could happen, but not going to matter. So while this crate system did enable some creative double special builds, as well as it definitely put sniping back on the menu, I decided to sit this one out because I didn't want to vote with my feet, and show Bungie's data that this is an enjoyable trials experience that I'm willing to play through for good loot. That's just not the case. I'm not playing this garbage. Now in concept, I'm not a hater of these special ammo crates, just the way that they're implemented. And just because they were implemented bad in Destiny 1 does not mean that there is not a good way to implement them in Destiny 2. There's a couple balancing levers that come to mind when I think special ammo crates, including location, frequency, amount. As for location, first we have to compare this to Halo, where the location of more powerful weapons are in more contested areas of the map. But since in Destiny 2 you can pull any kind of special ammo, whether that's a grenade launcher, a sniper, or even something like the explosive sidearm that isn't very good, not all special weapons are built the same, so not every build is worth contesting for special ammo. So since it's impossible to add that balancing lever to the special ammo system, there are two ways to go about it. It's either you give both teams starting special ammo spawns, which does sound like you could just start them off with two special ammo since it's assumed they're gonna go for it, but that is still a layer to combat. Like a good player might ignore that special, even though it's only two seconds out of the way, they might use those two seconds to Icarus dash towards the zone and start a heat rises angle, maybe an AOE grenade that keeps them out of the zone. The second approach is purposely putting the special ammo away from the objective to give a tertiary reason to control that side of the map. And they're going to forego map control by going for the special ammo, but they'll have special ammo for the retake. This is more akin to season one of Destiny 2, except the difference back then was we still had double primary and we pulled power ammo off the wall and that system was much much better for special ammo that is away from the objective or delayed after the objective comes up. Although I don't think it was realistic, I think the double primary with a power weapon was a superior system as long as in modern Destiny 2 a power weapon doesn't include rocket launchers, multi-shot grenade launchers, swords, etc. It should just be shotgun, sniper, fusion, and maybe unique weapons like Forerunner. Since the Season 1 system isn't possible anymore or it's too costly to go back to, I like the Transmat system better than the Crate system, but I don't think they would be doing this experiment if they were content with the results of the Transmat system. For myself and viewers of this channel, you probably understand PvP enough to like the Transmat system because you typically have more ammo than your opponent. But that's also possibly the problem of the transmat system if the ammo isn't evenly distributed across all the skill levels because that is something bungie has to consider a giant plus of the transmat system is special ammo does feel special you do feel punished for wasting it and you do feel rewarded for saving it depending on the length of the game sometimes i feel like i'm ending a match with 15 shotgun shots other times I snipe and I just barely have enough to win the match. That also could be part of this experiment. It's not like Bungie didn't know everybody was going to pick up double special. They probably wanted to see what special weapons certain skill brackets gravitate towards to utilize special ammo with. That's a good data point. From the top skill bracket, I would say that we prefer shotgun and maybe have a single sniper rifle player on our team if they got it like that. But for the most part, it's shotgun because it is the most ammo efficient. So maybe that's another lever, is the amount of ammo given from these crates and from the transmat system. 
So now I've hit location, frequency, and amount, but there is one more variable with frequency, and that is a static timer versus not. For example, let's say it's an out of the way special ammo crate. Well then, I pick it up and it says two minutes until the next crate. However, in the Halo system, it's based off the, the match clock, where if I pick it up with 10 seconds before there's supposed to be another crate, I can almost get two crates back to back, and that plays a huge role in understanding the flow of the map to the desired game mode. I remember Iron Banner Fortress had something similar to these timers, and it was a nightmare to control because it would send you all over the map even though you had the objective. You had to forego objective control because you knew the power ammo was coming up and if your team didn't control it, the enemy team spawns on rockets and then you lose map control anyway. I think that covers most of the things I wanted to bring up about special ammo system. It's not like I have all the solutions. There's a couple creative ideas like maybe having equipment pickups. Not like Scorch Cannon, but that is a good example of equipment. It would be like you pick up Felwinter's Lie, except the unnerfed version, and it's in the dead center of the map, a hot zone to contest. Once again though, I don't know what is realistic from the development standpoint, so I really just want to use my channel to springboard ideas in the comment section. How did you like the special ammo experiments? Do you think you'll like it with less special ammo? Maybe a special ammo per archetype? Just Hit me with any random solution, I don't care if it's realistic or not, just so you can get some ideas rolling because this cannot be an easy solution since there are so many different kinds of Destiny players that expect completely different experiences regarding the gunplay of Destiny 2. For me, I like primary v primary, but for you, it might be special to primary cleanup with ability sprinkled in and whatnot and those proportions are always going to be different to each player too. So it's really, really hard to agree on what your ideal version of Destiny 2 is, but I think the special ammo system that you champion for says a lot about what kind of player you are, in a good or bad way. Let you be the, ju the uh, judge of that. I will see y'all in the next one.